Happy Pentecost. Pentecost? Yeah, you got it. It's another one of those really big church words. Last week we learned a big church word and it's called Ascension. Ascension is just a really big church word that says Jesus went to heaven to be with God. I know we like these big words, don't we? We know that before Jesus ascended to heaven, that he talked with the disciples. He wanted to make sure that they had all the information they needed before they went out to talk to the people and tell them the good news of Jesus. Now, before that happened, he said, don't leave just yet. You've got all those words, but don't leave just yet. I've got another surprise for you. So then Jesus ascended to heaven and the disciples waited for a little bit. And then the Holy Spirit came and it whooshed in and it made a lot of wind and it made some noise. And then there were little fires that were dancing above the heads of the disciples. Now, this probably was a little exciting and maybe a little scary, but the Holy Spirit whooshed in and gave the disciples the ability to talk in tongues. What does that mean? Do you think the Holy Spirit whooshed in and was like, here's a tongue for you and here's a tongue for you? No, they already had tongues. I have a tongue, you have a tongue. I'm sure you've shown your tongue to people before. Don't show it when you have food in your mouth. That's gross. So the disciples had the ability to talk in tongues. That means that they could talk in different languages. They could go to all the different people who were around them and tell them the story of Jesus in their own language. Pretty cool. If you haven't seen it yet, there is a bunch of people reading the scripture in different languages in our worship service this past week. And even cooler than that, Miss Juliet even uses sign language. I won't even pretend I know how to do it, but she reads the scripture in sign language. So go check that out. But before you leave us, I've got a special song for you from Mr. Bruce. Lord, the light of your love is shining in the midst of the darkness shining. Jesus, light of the world, shine upon us. Set us free by the truth you now bring us. Shine on me. Shine on me. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this land with the Father's glory. Blaze, Spirit, blaze. Set our hearts on fire. Flow, river, flow. Flood the nations with grace and mercy. Send forth your word, Lord, and let there be light. As we gaze on your kingly brightness, so our faces display your likeness, never changing from glory to glory. Mirrored here, may our lives tell your story. Shine on me, shine on me. Shine, Jesus, shine. Fill this land with the Father's glory. glory. Blaze, spirit, blaze. Set our hearts on fire. That is the perfect song for Pentecost. Our special reader today is going to read us a story about the night you were born. Now our special reader is not as old as Miss Edith, but not as young as Lindley, or Reed, or Adelaide, or Marlowe. 
Our special reader is a kid though. So take it away, Abram. For you are fearfully and wonderfully made. Psalms 139. On the night you were born. On the night you were born, the moon smiled with such wonder that, that the stars peeped in to see you, and the night wind whispered, well, life will never be the same, because there had never been anyone like you ever in the world. So enchanted with you, we, the wind and the rain, that they whispered the sound of your wonderful name, the sound of your name is a magical one. Let's say it out loud before we go on. It sailed through the farmland high on the breeze, over the ocean, and through the trees. Until everyone heard it and everyone knew of the one and only ever you. Not once has there been such eyes, such a nose, such silly, wiggly, wonderful toes. In fact, I um, think I'll count to three so you can wiggle your toes for me. When the polar bears heard, they danced until dawn. From far away places, the geese flew home. The moon stayed up until morning next day. And none of the ladybugs flew away. So whenever you doubt just how special you are and wonder who loves you, how much and how far, listen for geese honking high in the sky they're singing a song to remember you by. Or notice the bears asleep at the zoo. It's because they've been dancing all night for you. Or drift off to sleep to the sound of the wind. Listen closely. It's whispering your name again. The moon stays up until morning one day. Or a ladybug lands and decides to stay. Or a little bird sits at your window a while, it's because they're all hoping to see you smile. For never before in story or rhyme, not even once upon a time, has the world ever known a you, my friend, and it never will, not ever again. Heaven blew every trumpet and played every horn on the wonderful, marvelous night you were born. You are the one and only ever you. Happy Pentecost. Happy birthday, church. I hope you guys have a fantastic week. I love you. I miss you. And don't forget to wash those hands. Before we leave today, Mr. Bruce has one more song for us. I'll see you next week. I was there to hear your morning cry. I'll be there when you are old. I rejoice the child with a faith to suit you well in a blaze of light you wandered off to find where demons dwell when you heard the wonder of the word I was there to cheer you on you were raised your time and you join your heart
hearts as one. I'll be there to make your verses rhyme from dust till rising sun. In the middle ages of your life, not too old, no longer young. I'll be there to what I've begun when the evening gently closes in and you shut your weary eyes I'll be there as I have always been with just one more surprise I was there to I'll be there when you are old. I rejoice the day you were baptized to see.